Okay, when you do the force of friction problems, this is the weight. Notice I changed the problem. So you have to draw a free body diagram of all your forces. The force of gravity, which is the weight, is 650 newtons. This is equivalent to the normal force from the ground. It's just going in the opposite direction. I didn't use a sign because I have arrows to indicate directions. Now I need to know what my applied force would be. And basically I only have two forces I have to worry about. Applied force and a force of friction. Now the things I'm going to look for is I'm always going to start off with force net, which is basically the sum of all the forces acting on my object. And my object is either going to accelerate or A will be zero. And if A is zero, this whole problem goes to zero. So now I can say force net is equal to zero. What two forces do I have? Well, I have my force applied plus a negative force in the opposite direction. And I set it equal to zero because of the constant speed approach. Now if I add the force of friction to both sides, I will now show that my applied force is equivalent to my force of friction. What is my force of friction? Well, my force of friction, just in case I don't know what my force of friction is, I'll use my reference table, is equal to mu, the coefficient of friction, times my weight, normal force. So, now I can put in 0.12, I looked that up, oh, actually it was given, times my weight of 650 newtons, that's my friction force, 708 newtons, ah, bam, 700, I said 100, 78 newtons, and, and,